America's relationship with China is at its lowest point in decades. No administration has been tougher on China than this administration. If you want to make China a hostile country, you have to bear the consequences. The divergence predates the Trump administration. The United States is a Pacific power, and we are here to stay. But it's getting worse, and coronavirus hasn't helped the situation. It's so all death that could have, could have been stopped by China. From trade to technology, spheres of influence, social issues, and military supremacy, there are so many issues here, and many intertwined. Let's look at some of the main ones, starting with trade. Nobody's ripped us off more than China over the last 25, 30 years. China is the United States' largest trading partner. Although there is a massive trade deficit, an imbalance in exports versus imports in China's favor. The Trump administration increased tariffs on Chinese imports in 2018. That kick-started more than a year of tit-for-tat tariffs, which have slowed global growth. Both countries signed a trade deal in January, but it doesn't address the core issues. Beijing has pledged to increase U.S. imports, but Washington is still pushing U.S. companies to move sourcing and manufacturing out of China. Then there's that one particular Chinese firm, Huawei. The US blacklisted the tech company, citing national security concerns. It says Huawei can spy on customers, although it's provided little evidence. Those ripples are spilling into the wider geopolitical pond. Other countries, such as Britain, have been forced to pick sides. We convinced many countries, many countries, and I did this myself for the most part. Huawei denies the allegations and says Washington wants to frustrate its growth, as no U.S. company offers the same technology at a competitive price. It's a security risk. This isn't about commercial interests. This is about protecting the information, in this case, of the United Kingdom's people. The U.S. has also started treating Chinese state media outlets as foreign embassies slashing the number of journalists allowed in U.S. offices. In response, China expelled around a dozen American correspondents and required U.S. media outlets to submit details about their Chinese operations. There's a whole raft of other issues at play. The U.S. has hardened its position on the South China Sea, sanctioned Chinese officials over Hong Kong's new security law, and condemned China's treatment of minority Muslim Uyghurs. Then there's the pandemic again, which Trump regularly refers to as the China virus. Understand this is a worldwide problem caused by China. All of these fissures point to a widening chasm between the nuclear powers. A new geopolitical era may be dawning, and the future of all of these disputes is anything but clear.